Hi, it's Dennis from Proswiley Finance. The two recent extreme weather events in New Zealand have had a devastating impact to many families. We hope you and your families are safe and well. If there is anything that we can help, please get in touch with us. Today, we will talk about the bank policy may help you if you were affected by the cyclone or flooding in the past weeks. If your property was unfortunately damaged by the flood or storm and tethered by the government in a yellow or red zone, then some bank will give you a one-off allowance for several thousand of dollars. Some banks offer a temporary overdraft with no application fees and no interest for 90 days. If you do have a mortgage and stressing about your home loan repayment, some banks offer their customer with no interest repayment for 90 days. Other banks will allow you to switch from principal plus interest to interest only home loan. Other banks will allow you to switch from principal plus interest to interest only home loan, or skip the repayment for a while and make them up later on. Each bank has a different policy, so please check their website for details or contact us directly to get more details. In the first flooding event, we had a customer whose home was flooded, also his business vehicle was also damaged. It was a huge financial cost to our customer. Although they had a housing insurance, the sum insured for this house had not been reviewed since they had purchased the property. The construction cost in New Zealand has increased dramatically over the years, resulting in the insurance company claiming far less than the cost of the rebuilding, which is causing our customer into more financial losses. In our past article, we have highlighted the importance and to how to review your sum insured amount. Is it up to date or not? Even if you don't need an insurance claim this time, we do highly recommend that you review your insurance if you haven't, to avoid the tragedy that happened in the future. Due to this cyclone, many farms in New Zealand and North Island were severely damaged resulting in a decline of output of food, vegetables and fruits. This means that the food prices will further increase when you visit to the supermarket next time. On the other hand, the construction company has just recently been relieved before the storm. But the cyclone and flooding made this industry overload again for all the construction and repair. If the industry cannot bring in neighbors in time, the construction costs will push up again even further. Overall, these two natural disasters cause serious damage to the New Zealand economy and make it more difficult to control the inflation. In order for the government to control inflation, the RBNZ has risen OCR again. We know OCR will directly affect the interest rate on floating and short-term loans. So you should be very careful when you consider to refix your home loan. If your mortgage has been with your existing bank for more than three to four years, you may consider switching your banks. You may receive a cashback or get a lower interest rate like BNZ offering right now 4.99% for one year, which may help you to ease your pressure of repayment. At the same time, there's an opportunity to restructure your loans, such as extending your interest-only time and extending your loan term. Furthermore, we would like to remind you that if you are looking to refinance or have an additional home loans, banks are based on your household income and property value, just like the procedure and policy for reviewing your new home loans. At the same time, there will be some additional cost involved in switching banks, and it depends on the cases whether it is worth switching or not. I hope today's content has provided you the information you are after. You are more than welcome to contact us on 09 930 for a free consultation. See you next time.